Good morning, folks. Well, uh, <laughs> yes, I'm driving the Proton Saga, and where am I heading? I'm taking this car home. Well, technically, this isn't really this car's home, but this is the HQ, so yeah, this car is actually coming home. And why am I here today? Well, a very, very interesting, uh, um, well, something very interesting happened. Let's put it. Let's put it that way. Uh, I received a call from uh, Proton the other day. Good morning, sir. And uh, they wanted to actually ask me to come in so that they could uh, they could interview me and also my car. So now we're gonna go through the actual uh, process of. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? I'm here to see uh, Rita. So yes. Here at Proton COE, and uh, stay tuned for what happens. Right. Next. So welcome home, girl. Yeah. I'm, for all intents and purposes, this is where you were born. In 1985, when Proton was established as a car company in Malaysia, Tun Mahathir actually launched the 1985 Saga Orion, and uh, yeah. So today we are up here, going up this ramp, and uh, yes, I've been given permission to actually stop here for a while. To actually shoot the car and uh, wow this is a, a rather emotional moment as you can as you can see I've got the aircon going full blast and one of the things that was that protons were known for was really good aircon and look I'm actually wearing a jacket and I'm not sweating at all so of course the car didn't come with this uh, fantastic air conditioning this is all thanks to my buddy Kelvin at Denso who, uh, it's a funny story actually it's a painfully expensive funny story he uh, calls me up and he says Chris I got good news and bad news and I said what 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 he said well the bad news is your aircon is completely effed I'm gonna have to rebuild you a new one and I'm like oh my god what's the good news the good news is I found two screws that I can use back yeah that was the good news this air conditioning system is brand new and it cost half the price of the car to actually do but I'm very very happy with it because as you know Econ, Econ systems and Protons are supposed to be the best in the world and uh, that just had to be done so yes I got the new meter put in the uh, temperature is working the revs are working the Econ compressor just kicked off that's why the revs climbed uh, the fuel gauge is working and yes for some weird reason one needle is yellow and the other one is orange but you know what I don't care because there are some cars out there where the speedometer needle is a different color from the tech so yeah that's fine that's fine by me that's fine by me and uh, yeah so the reason why I'm here is Proton wants to interview me and why the heck did I go and buy a car so now with the new meter in my car very low mileage yeah 64,000 kilometers only uh, as opposed to 347,000 kilometers the last one I think but yep I'm waiting to uh, I'm not gonna refuel until it goes to E because I want to see whether this fuel warning uh, words come out here next to the trip meter and uh, so stay tuned let's see what happens here I'm back at Proton unfortunately they are remodeling and I'm not gonna be able to shoot any of the uh, museum cars I think they're refurbishing the museum cars as well but uh, stay tuned more to come talk to you all soon bye And here she is back home yeah you know what I did this with my Ford TX3 at the old Amim Ford plant in Shah Alam I actually drove my TX3 there and uh, filmed it well photographed it because back then I wasn't using uh, YouTube but uh, yeah here she is at Proton COE it's a beautiful day and I gotta say the saga is looking really good so quite quite happy about that yes she has come home so just a very quick walk around before uh, the Proton people show up and usher me into the uh, into the interview room or shoo me away and ask me to go and park in the visitors lot <laughs> as a matter but welcome home girl 
it is good that you're back here after 35 years so yeah this car is an orion 35 years old and she's back home back home wow now just imagine that the last time this car was here was when she was new actually no she wasn't even here because proton coe didn't exist back then she was probably launched at the tanjung malin plant but uh yeah for all intents and purposes she's home Howdy folks, so this was quite fun actually. Uh, I couldn't film what was happening uh, while I was here at Proton COE. But basically for their social media, they've actually interviewed me and my car uh, in regards to why did I do this? And why did I buy a 1985 Proton Saga when there are so many other Sagas out there that I could have bought? Well, if to, the, to know the answer, either watch some of my previous videos or tune in to the uh, Proton Facebook page coming up soon. Uh, I'm not really sure when, but we'll also share it on Horizon's page, Evo Horizon's page. Uh, find out why I'm here, why I was here, why I was summoned to Proton COE. Well, actually the car was summoned, but uh, I think it's going to be very nice, hopefully. And uh, stay tuned, okay? So that's it from me. It's a lovely hot day here at Proton COE. This car actually came home today, which was really, really nice. And... Uh, Stay tuned for more. The saga of the saga continues. Today she became a movie star. Well, a social media movie star anyway. Lots more to do. So now I can finally send it over to Ake for the paint job, get rid of the bumper stripes, put in the Orion grill, and uh, yeah, she'll be good to go. Put in the brand new, uh, the door uh, sills as well, the rubber door sills. And I think that's just about it. So stay tuned for the conclusion of the saga of the saga. Will it ever conclude? I don't think so because I never stop doing up my cars. And uh, yeah, so it's gonna be, it's gonna be good. Take care you all, thank you for watching and stay tuned. Bye.